What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and what an exciting day to be an Apple fan today. Lots of new products in the pipeline, the iPhone X, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, new Apple Watch, Apple TV, and a slew of new software. We've got iOS 11, the GM has just been released today, or otherwise known as the Gold Master. So essentially, it is the very same thing as the official version, just a few days early, if you guys want to install. There might be a little patch between now and the final release on September 19th, if they find any Anything wrong, any bugs that are critical, but it should essentially be the same build. Now, the interesting thing is this is the same build number as the leaked version. So if you were already running that, there is no need to update. You're pretty much on that firmware already as it is 15A372 on the leaked version. So cool. Otherwise, if you guys are on beta 10, easy update through the OTA software update page. Anyways, in this video, just wanted to cover with you what's new and what has changed. I mean, what are the differences between this and beta 10? And the truth is there aren't that many so first one if you jump into the apple watch setup page you'll see the new apple watch in here they've reflected that and added graphics for the new watch in here really cool and here we get to see the blush gold color as well one that unfortunately didn't make its way over to the iphone x for whatever reason it would have been cool to see that but at least the iphone 8 and 8 plus got it also in the settings page jumping into wallpaper you will find new wallpapers here and i just want to show you compared to beta 10 the difference here not only did they add wallpapers they took away a lot as well so these are the only three that are still remaining that were on the uh, original beta 10 firmware we did get this throwback to the first iphone really cool globe i'm sure that's the same one just a high resolution image too i've got a moon and a dark earth over here and then all of these really really cool gradients with flowers I think these are really neat wallpapers, something that's really gonna pop on the organic LED display of the iPhone X. Also these throwbacks, retros, and we've got a solid black one. So I'm sure this is going to be some sort of efficiency wallpaper here to make the uh, bezels blend seamlessly with that display, really cool. So you get a bunch of new wallpapers here. Now I haven't really noticed anything other than that. It seems to be well optimized, well polished. The animations are fluid. I mean, it feels ready for prime time. So if you guys had any debate about whether to install this or not, I really can't give you any reason not to. If you do wanna wait just to be sure on September 19th, definitely feel free to do that. But this is essentially the final firmware just a few days early. The one thing I was disappointed about though was that this does not have any dark mode, no night mode. And sure, okay, that's fair, this is an LCD, it doesn't really make as much sense as on the iPhone X, but why not put one on the iPhone X? Apple made no mention of a specific dark or night mode at all on that guy. And I'm hoping, hoping that they take advantage of the display because they would be missing the biggest chance, the biggest opportunity ever to include that on an organic LED iPhone. It would have been really cool. So I'm hoping that that's still in the pipeline. Maybe it will be released in iOS 11.1 or something like that with the wireless charging support apparently, but uh, we'll see. We'll have to see about that. Now I'm gonna run a Geekbench real quick, give you guys an impression of how it is against iOS 11 beta 10 and iOS 10.3.3 as well. But on the newer devices, I really don't think you guys have much to worry about. It feels the same. If anything, the animations make up for the lower Geekbench scores. It's very fluid. It just feels, you know, really liquidy, like very polished in general. All right, so this is iOS 11 Gold Master, crested that 6,000 score very impressive almost three and a half thousand single core and here is iOS 11 beta 10 not too far behind so with the multi the single is actually significantly behind about 150 points behind and iOS 10.3.3 also pretty close, a little bit higher in the single core score. So pretty good all around. It's the animations, the speed of them that I noticed definitely speeds up with iOS 11. I definitely like that. It feels a lot more fluid, like it's running more efficiently. All right, and on the slowest device of the bunch, the iPhone 5S, after just updating to iOS 11 GM, wanted to give a little quick impression versus iOS 10.3.3. So this is gonna have the biggest impact between the devices as it is the slowest. Anyways, just launching the applications. Oh, that takes a long time. App switcher. Oh, app switcher open it up faster. Notification center, slower, control center, faster. And let's try the camera. One, two, three. Slower. Considerably slower. Ooh. Maybe it's just because I haven't been using it much, but then I haven't been using this much either. Might be a little bit slower, but not a very good impression on the oldest device here. All right, guys, there it is, iOS 11 Gold Master, basically the final version. Feel free to update if you wanna wait, just to be sure you guys can do that as well. But I'll keep you guys updated in between. Peace.